Hi everybody, we are going to begin our folk art landscape. And this is our first step. We are going to actually be making the background. And we're gonna talk in this video about foreground, middle ground, and background. I'm gonna show you how you get to this step. And I have my paper here waiting. So the, we are going to be using oil pastels for this activity and watercolor, but the, wa the oil pastels come first. You can take whatever color you would like. I'm gonna use purple. And you're just going to start at one edge of your paper and you're going to make a line coming across and down. This is your foreground line. You can switch colors if you like, but I'm gonna stick with purple. And then you're gonna do your middle ground. This in here will be your middle ground. And then lastly, a space for your background right here. Now after you have those three grounds, you can begin breaking up that space so you can begin to add pattern. So I'm just gonna make some additional lines inside. I'm starting with the middle ground. It doesn't matter where you start. And all of these spaces will then contain pattern. So maybe I will make here and here. It doesn't really matter how you break it up. I would say don't make too many compartments because then you will be making pattern forever. So there. Now that I have broken up my foreground, middle ground, and background space, I can begin to add pattern. Let me go back to my original, my finished one, and you can see the types of patterns that I've included. They're really all based on shape and line. I will have a poster in the art room that will show you some examples of different patterns you might like to use. But really, anything that you can dream up, I'm sure, is going to be fine. So again, I'm gonna start with whatever color I'd like, and I'll start here. And I'm just gonna make this curved diagonal line pattern. And certainly this qualifies as a pattern, but I wanna make it a little bit more interesting. So then I'll come in and I'll choose a different color on the inside. The oil pastel is much like a crayon, except a lot softer. I think you will like using them. Now one of my favorite lines to use is a zigzag. So I'm just gonna break this space up a bit and then inside there, I'm going to use some zigzags, top to bottom. I'll just fill that in. And then I always like to go back and maybe make my lines a little bit thicker. It makes the pattern stand out a little bit nicer. Now don't worry, you're not gonna to have to watch me make all of my patterns in this video, but I wanna make sure that you have a good start. And then maybe I'll... So you can see how I go back and I add little extras to make the pattern even more fancy. Okay, so I have at least two done. This is what you're gonna do. Oh, and I almost forgot. You have to decide if you want this to be a nighttime sky or a daytime sky. If you are choosing a nighttime sky, like I did in this one, you can add a moon, and I use the white oil pastel to make stars. This one, I'm going to use, uh, have a, a daytime sky, so I'm gonna include the sun. So anywhere on my paper, or I could have a sunrise or a sunset, I'm going to make the sun coloring nice and dark. So when I get to the watercolor part, my sun will still show up. So my next video, we will add watercolor to this.